Okay, now, number one, sorry to be looking down on you here, but I couldn't find a better way to bring you closer to the blackboard. Um, there's the microphone. So here's the deal. Um, problem number one from the homework. Common static electricity involves charges ranging from nanocoulombs to microcoulombs. Um, and we just have to be comfortable with this, okay? So um, nanocoulombs, nano means 1 times 10 to the negative 9th. So if it's 5 nanocoulombs, then it's 5 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. Um, it just can't take us a half an hour to convert from... Uh, micro, milli, nano, whatever. Um, micro is 10 times, uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 5th. So, um, part A, how many electrons are needed to form a charge of negative 2 nanocoulombs? Negative 2 nanocoulombs. Now, electrons um, come in units. Every one electron has a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So we can set up this equivalency. We want to know how many electrons, okay, let me do it this way, negative 2 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs, that's nano, um, is how many electrons? Well, one electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Coulombs will cancel. I'll get an answer in electrons, and that answer in electrons is 1.25 times 10 to the 10th electrons. Okay? Uh, mostly on the board there. I guess we're okay. I can slide over a little bit this way. Part B, then, has um, 0 0.5 microcoulombs, micro times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, one electron, negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Um, so on the first one, it was negative, negative, so it came out positive. On the second one, it says how many electrons must be removed from a neutral object to leave a net charge of 0.5 microcoulombs. So it's the same deal. Um, I could do positive there because it just, it's how many I have to remove to leave behind a positive net charge. Um, and I get 3.125 times 10 to the 12th um, electrons removed. That leaves behind a positive charge. I hope that.